Hey, what's up you guys? It's Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Auditions are scary, we all know that. But since COVID, pretty much all auditions have been online and it doesn't seem like they're going back anytime soon. But just because they're online doesn't mean they're not scary. So I'm gonna teach you guys some tips and tricks that I use to help ease my nerves before an audition, whether it be in person or via self-tape. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe cause if you don't do that, I might really cry. If you don't subscribe after that, I totally understand. So how do we calm our nerves when going into an audition? By going into audition, I mean either physically going into an audition or, mm, or mentally preparing to do a self tape. Tip number one, the day of your audition, wake up early. Have yourself a little morning routine, throw a little self care in there. Be gentle on yourself. It's going to be a big day. Some things I like to do in the morning is work out. My therapist actually told me that working out actually relieves anxiety. Maybe Maybe that's a no-brainer to some, but I know that it does release endorphins and helps you feel in control and calm and can definitely be a way to help calm your nerves. If you don't like working out, go for a walk. I know I love me my walks. But right now in New York, it is pretty cold to go on a walk. So if you're in the same situation, what you can do is just do some yoga. Look up a YouTube video, a 15 minute YouTube video, stretch it out, get in your body, make sure your body feels good. Like you've stretched out all your muscles in the morning, get your fingers working, roll your neck, all that fun stuff. Do a quick little face mask if you have time or do it the night before. I love to do a face mask the night before. I think there was something very relaxing about that. I use my gua sha the night before, do your skincare, and that can help ease your mind and get your day started on the right foot. Another thing you can do in the morning is journal. Take five minutes out of your day to just journal your feelings, journal about your nerves, just free write, talk about how you feel, how you're nervous for today but excited, and how you're gonna freaking kill it. Put that ish on paper, manifest it, and let's get that bread. Something else you should do is just take a moment of silence. Meditate for a couple minutes. Let everything else in the room and in the world disappear. Center yourself. And that always gets me feeling a lot better. Step four, I think, would be breathing exercises. When someone's having a panic attack, what do they do? As someone who struggles with anxiety, I have actually done this and it literally helps. If I can't breathe, I breathe into a paper bag. Why? Because it forces you to only take a certain length or amount of breaths and controls your breathing breathing so you're not like hyperventilating and freaking out and literally calms you down. If you're like literally having a panic attack over it, do that. If you're not having a panic attack, just literally take 10 deep breaths. What I like to do is inhale for eight counts, hold for eight counts, exhale for eight counts. Do that 10 times and it should definitely help you. Tip number five might sound like an obvious one, but be prepared. There have been so many times where I went into an audition where I got sides last minute or I rehearsed the lines but not as much as I maybe should have and I went into my self tape not being 100% confident with the lines and it just messed up my whole audition. Not being memorized just gets in your way when you're trying to perform because all you can think about is what is my next line. Another thing to also remember though is unless it specifically states you need to be off book, have the script in your hand. Reference a line that you keep forgetting and highlight it in a different color so when that line you know is coming up, you could peek at it really quick and carry on. It's called a reading for a reason. You're not usually expected to be off book, so if it doesn't state that, you should feel entirely comfortable having the script in your hand. I mean, obviously try and memorize as much as you can. You don't want your eyes to be glued to it. They wanna see you acting to your reader or whatever sight lines you created, but having it in your hand can also be a comfort. I also heard that if you have the papers in your hand, it leaves less for you to do things with your body and leaves less for them to judge you on your first audition. Maybe this is more so for on stage acting or in person auditions, but it'll leave you less fidgety and give you less to worry about. So use that script and give yourself plenty of time to go over it and feel comfortable with it so that when the day comes, you don't feel nervous when you hit record on your camera because when you're trying to find the line, guarantee we can all see it behind your eyes. Tip number four, this is gonna sound so cliche because I I feel like everyone says this, but use your nerves. If you're in a scene where you're talking to your crush, 
you would be nervous, so use those nerves. If you're in a scene where you're fighting with your best friend, use those nerves. Part of you has that fight or flight in you when you're angry and fighting with someone, so use those nerves in that type of way. Don't overdo it, don't let your nerves control you, don't let them create habits for you, but definitely use them to your advantage because nerves are human and your character is human. I don't even know what number we are on now, but another tip I have is only film when you're in the right mindset. Let me give an example. So a couple months ago, I was filming something for a Disney Plus show and I was so nervous about this audition because it's Disney and I've always wanted to be on a Disney show. So I was kind of scared and I wanted to get the audition in as soon as possible, but I wasn't 100% comfortable with the material. So I had my boyfriend read with me for hours and hours. Like we literally did it for hours over and over and I was getting so frustrated. I was in such a bad mood. I was in a bad mood from the second he came over because I just didn't feel ready and I just wanted to get it over with but I was just like in an irritable mood and it was just not helping my audition whatsoever. It was making everything a struggle. We literally were working on it from like five o'clock till like 10 o'clock at night which is just way too long to work on an audition. So what I actually wound up doing is finally giving up. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna put this down. I'm gonna stop now and we're gonna try again in the morning and I'm gonna limit myself to only three takes and we'll see how those come out. So the next morning I got ready. I was in a much better mood when I woke up, less stressed and I did it within the first two takes and it was literally perfect. It was way better than anything I was doing the day before because at that point I had basically rehearsed the lines for five hours straight. So I knew them like the back of my hand and everything just felt so much more natural. And I realized I should have just done that from the start. I should have just waited an extra day because I knew that I wasn't comfortable. I knew that I wasn't ready, but I was trying to rush myself because I wanted to be one of the first in. And that leads me to another point cut yourself off after maybe five takes at most. Sometimes I go a little beyond, but I did an audition a couple days ago where I literally got the take within the first two takes and it was for two different scenes and both times I was like, that was the one and I didn't keep going. I'm such a perfectionist and I think a lot of us struggle with this where we're like, I don't like the way my eye twitched there or I don't like the way that my lip curled there or some little stupid things. At least I know I do that. You gotta just let that all go and when it feels right, it's gonna be right and when you're prepared, it's gonna show. Another thing I like to do is make sure that everything is laid out the night before. So my costume, what my character is gonna be wearing. I picture my character's hair, how I'm gonna do it the next day. I make sure my camera batteries are charged. I set up my blue screen. I do things so that when it's the day of the audition, it's stress-free and I can just go in, hit record, get it done, and move on. Another major tip I have, and this is gonna be very particular depending on who's watching this, very personal to you, is don't look up the director. Don't look up the casting director. Don't look up the cast if you don't know who they are because sometimes this is just going to psych you out. At least I know it does for me. I don't think that doing that type of research is going to help. I think that the research that could help would be maybe watching an episode of, or two of what you're auditioning for. Just to get an idea of other characters that would be similar to your character that you see that the casting director also cast that episode. But other than that, I wouldn't look up the fact that your cast member has 200K and is verified on Instagram or that another cast member is signed with a huge talent agency or that your casting director is the one who cast Selena Gomez in Wizards of Waverly Place. Like these things are just going to psych you out. At least they psych me out and I'm sure other people can relate. That information just doesn't help me. While it's really cool to look into, I always find that every time I'm looking into it, I am so much more nervous for the audition than I would have been if I just didn't look it up and I don't even feel like it brings me any information that helps me. It just distracts me from what I'm supposed to be doing, which is reading for this role. So yeah, that was my last tip for you guys. I feel like there was a lot of good stuff in here, so definitely take advantage of all this stuff. Let me know 
know what tips and tricks helped you guys and if you guys have any tips and tricks for me please leave them in the comments below I would love to know your go-to tips and tricks to help calm your nerves before an audition if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also let me know what you guys want to see from me next as I am an open book and would love to share with you guys how to make it in this industry thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video bye